will be opening 140 picks in a row on my account. I got 50 icon picks and 50 92 plus picks. The combined price of these are more than 12 and a half million coins. Let's find out which one of the two are better. The icon picks or the 92 plus picks. Let's dive into it. And we're starting with the icon picks, even though they're more expensive to make. The best players in there are less expensive than the ones in the 92 plus picks. But let's start with the first one. It takes a while. But we start off with a Storchkov. Since we have check already, I will take Storchkov. They're roughly around the same price anyways. And I'm gonna skip one every time. That's how you need to do it. You guys let me know in the last episode. I had to do that. And here we are gonna take the highest rated. Even though Taurus is like double the price of Bergkamp. I don't really care. He's not gonna play anyways. Another one. Next one, we get Bergkamp again. But since we have Bergkamp already, I will go for Cole. He's the most expensive one anyways. So let's take him. Next one. Smigel is the highest rated. We will take him. In my opinion, a horrible goalkeeper. I've tried him. He can't save a ball at all. But can we get a W? Doesn't look like it yet. We'll just take the highest rated here. Nothing too special. Another storage call. We already had him. But so far, no W yet. Not even close. I saw the funniest one. I was hoping that it would be a W, but still not. But T is one that I really like always in game. It's not worth anything anymore. Come on, give us a W. We just keep getting the same ones over and over again. And of course, with the icons, there are not too many choices. With the other player pick, there are way more options. So I think there we're going to get less dupes. But we just got Charlton. I have him already, but that's our first W. He's almost 300,000 coins. We take that. Of course, we spend way more than that. But we got to start somewhere. Next one, two Ws in a row. No. Come on, give us a big one. Still not. Savi, we didn't take yet. Now we will take Taurus. Come on, another one that's at least 200k, please. Smith is not a 200k player, but it's one that we don't have yet. So we happily take her. Every card that is in the batch right now drop massively in price. Only the ones that are not in the current batch. Those are the ones that you really want to pack because they usually have more value than the other ones. I think we chose them all already. I don't know about Berezi. I'll just go for the highest rated if I don't know. There, yeah, Berezi again. The other ones we chose already, so let's try it out. We didn't take him yet, but yeah, he's gonna be here for a lot of picks. Yaro's the next one. It's just the same ones over and over again at the moment. Ooh, finally a different one. It's one that we all packed probably like a hundred times in the past weeks, but we take him, you know? <laughs> it's literally just the same ones every time. We're halfway through these, not even, but we keep getting the same ones, and I'm already looking forward to the <laughs> other 50. Maybe there's still some bangers in this one. There are some good ones. But so far, we are not getting the good ones yet. We only got one W so far. Zico is another W. Also, he is cheap right now, but it is a W. He used to be super expensive, but I see Zico as a W. That's the thing with these picks. You don't have to look at the value, in my opinion. It's just about the place you want to get out of it. Yeah, all prices are cheap, so you're not going to get many that are expensive. It's just how it works at this point in the game. <laughs> really not looking good though come on give us some excitement here I'm, I'm just going for the highest rated at this point sometimes i forget that we have them all already get out of here okay, i don't know if i took yet no i didn't and we're more than halfway now and now we get muller so finally a different one one that we didn't have yet he's around sixty thousand coins so that is our third best player so far and see if we can get something good in the second ones. Del Piero is always one that is quite expensive. And he's still more than 200,000 coins. So that's our second most expensive player. So we got to be happy with that. But I want to see a big one. Like, you spend a lot of coins on this. And we get a Von Nistelrooy from it. Like, <laughs> on this pick alone, I spent 6.8 million coins on it. Come on, EA. Give us something in return. Does it need to be insane? Well, it should be if we want to make some of the coins back. But just something different than all the ones we have seen so far. And it's not looking good. But at the end of the video, I will combine the total prices of all the players and see what we roughly got back. Obviously, I don't always take the most expensive ones. So it's like a rough estimate. But of course, the big ones are the ones we're going to take and calculate with. Sucre is one that we didn't get yet for some reason. 
I thought it would be in every one of them, but no. Another Muller. Uh, I'll go for the highest rated. But what is going on here? Come on. Another Smith. We should take Del Piero since he's more than 200k. Then we can make an easy calculation and otherwise it's a bit weird. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Just no W at all. Two 200 or 300k players. That's it. And we only got 10 picks left. Out of those 10, we need to get a W. Like a big W. Otherwise, I have a feeling which one of the two is already gonna win. We're taking another Del Piero. Come on, EA. Bless us with something. There are a lot of good ones that are worth at least something. But we're not getting them. We take another Smichael. Ah, oh, come on. Another Muller or Fernando Torres. Let's let's take Torres. And another Torres. I wasn't expecting out of these something insane all the time, but they're actually way more boring than I expected them to be. Like way more boring. Oh, there we go. We get two good ones in the same pick. Country divided, yeah. Come on. But even those two are not that expensive anymore. I love Socrates. But we gotta go for him. 98 rated, insane stats, but only 80,000 coins. But we are already at our last pick of these 50. We only got three exciting ones, I would say. Can we make it four? Come on, let's end on a bang. Another Charlton, which is good. But if you get dupes, of course, we can't really do much with it. But we will take him. But none of the big ones. I'm not gonna lie, that was really boring. One hour later. I just calculated the prices of all the players we chose. I didn't realize Kuma was 200k. And that's because he's not in a best of batch. But the total spend on these 50 picks were 6.8 million coins. And we got roughly 3.5 million coins back. Of course, that's not really the case. Because most of them were dupes. And then they they're just seen as fodder but the actual value would be roughly around three and a half million not great but let's see now if the 92 plus player picks are better than these i think at least we have less dupes and we're gonna see more different players because the player pool is much bigger but let's open them after you subscribe and like the video of course there we go we got the 50 92 plus player picks i'm really excited for this especially after the 50 we just opened up let's see what we can get from this i opened 100 of these in a different video back then it was one out of three now it's one out of four. I expect some bangers. Let's go. And we start off with a room and Diaz. Most players are cheap right now, but that's a good pull. Second one. We're getting some fuddies. Nothing too special here. We just go for the highest rated. Bentacur also cheap, but 97 rated. We'll take it. And we get it. Oh, I think Leal might be the most rare one in this one. Martinez I packed before. I already traded him in. Same with Navas. But Leal, I've never got him before. So we will definitely take him. He is so rare to get. I never see him. What a start. Can we pack two bangers in a row? You know what? Chouameni is still quite expensive. Douglas Luis is also quite expensive. But we go for Chouameni. Two kind of rare players already. Okay, we will go for the highest rated and then we will go for Yorenta because Alaba is in the best of batch. So if we do some 84 times 10s, we will pack him probably as well. So far, the first choices are actually really good. Can we continue that? Nope. <laughs> no, we cannot. Ooh, 98 rated. That's also one that you don't see often at all. And he's also more than 200,000 coins still. So we definitely take that. Oh my God, these are good. Dani Omo, Barella, like almost the highest rated one, most expensive one. But we will go for Barella since we have Omo already. Again, a very good pick. And these are cheaper than the icon picks as well. That's the crazy part about it. This one is not too special though. Snyder is the highest rated, but DiMarco is a little bit more expensive. He was actually really good for me as well. I just had to trade him in for some SPCs. Oh, I'll, I'll go for him. And we get another Omo here. I think I will go for Gonzalez though. Omo I already have. Just makes it easier for me to recycle stuff. Another one. Omo again. Felix is a good one as well. Omo really wants to be chosen again. But Felix is more than 100k. But for now, I'll choose a non-dupe. But I will calculate at the end of the video with Felix here. Oh, 
my god, we get a big W. I know Bellingham is also in the best off batch, so you can also pack him there. But that is an insane pull. He is still half a million coins, so we definitely take him. He's one of the only ones from the best off batch that I didn't pack yet. So I happily take that. Next one. Okay, nothing special here. I enjoy these a lot. Martinelli, decent. Not that expensive anymore. We'll take it all. Ferran Torres. He is so good in game. I just needed to trade him in for this video. But we got him back. I happily take that one. And the next one is not that great. We go for Llorente. Of course, we chose him already. I forgot about that. It's all right. Okay, 296 rated. He is definitely the most expensive one. Oblak we get all the time. We choose him. And we get another Torres. We will go for Park. Park is quite hard to get since he's not in the best off batch. But we will calculate with the Ferran Torres here to make like a fair estimate on how much you get back from it. Next one. Trent is also a rare one. He's also still more than 300,000 coins. We are packing some bangers here. We still are looking for a play that's worth more than a million. But we already got half a million coin player and a few 300k players. And we're not even halfway there. I'm really enjoying this, guys. Gakpo will take him high rated. Super cheap, but it's fine. I'm Dutch, so it's always fun. Gavi is a good one as well. Oh my god, these are giving out. Well, I say he's good, but he is very cheap. This is a 97 rated card. It is good to pack it. Okay, it doesn't really matter here. Let's go for Baratov. DeMarco again. Here we go for Douglas Luiz. He's also quite expensive. He's like more than 100k. So everything that's above 100k right now is a good card. And that means we're halfway there now since we had one dupe. And we packed some bangers in the first half. Let's go back to the front and we just pack a Mushala as well yes Mushala is not as expensive as Bellingham for example but a 98 rated card you have to be happy with that no matter what price it is these are really fun I'm sorry I keep repeating myself four fuddies now as well just go for the highest rated I'm definitely gonna do these more often as I say that we, we don't really get something out of it but if I have some high rated dupes I did all the SBCs already you might as well trade it into this Another Ruben Diaz. I think we chose them all three already. Or did I not choose Snyder? I don't think I chose Snyder yet. Yeah, there we go. Still looking for the one big, big banger. Felix, again, we have him already. We go for Dempsey since he's the highest rated. Nkunku Kante. Nkunku we have already, so we will go for Kante here. Obviously, we want to see his buddies in here. But it is something. But who knows? Maybe he will still be in one of these picks. Doesn't really matter here. Just go for the highest rated. Gavi again for Verde. Also quite cheap now. Good card though. We definitely take that. And what I also noticed in these picks. It's a 92 plus pick. But we're only getting like 95 or at least 94 pluses. There are barely 92s in it. Which is very nice. Don't know if I chose Marquinhos already. Just to be sure I will go for another 96 rated. Another Kante. Oh, we chose them both already. We go for 95 this time. 15 picks left. I'm still looking for at least one player over a million. Of course, Ronaldo is the main goal. But I don't know if we're going to get him. But the picks are decent. We get some bangers. Can we get one more? Martinez. I told you, he's easier to pack. This time, we're going to choose him. A 98 rated card. Very nice to have. And here's Oblak. Cucurella is way more rare. So not a kind of rare one to get. Benzema is a really good one to get as well. Even though, like almost every card, he is cheap. 97 rated Benzema is always nice. Another Martinez. Here we will take it because it is 98 rated. The other ones are quite a big difference in rating. And now we got 10 picks left. But this entire video cost 12 and a half million coins. At least that's how much the SBCs are worth. Can we get something big in return for it? Let's see. Renard Rafinha. Rafinha is the one we're going to choose here. Renard is also more than 100k or close to 200k. I don't know the exact price. Lukaku is quite rare to get as well. But Rafinha is the highest rated here of the ones that we don't have yet. So I will choose him. Okay, this is the worst pick that we had, I think. This is by far the worst one. And again, no 92 raiders in this. Bruno, we take that. Could have chosen Yorenta, but we already took him twice. 
Goretzka is a very good one to get as well. Always such a meta card in game. But since he's back in packs, he absolutely dropped in price. He was half a million, but he's only like 50k right now. You get a Pele, but not the right one. Rodrigo, by the way, I already have him. I actually have to choose him here. I will so I can show you the price of him. He is around 800,000 coins. This is by far our best player we got so far. Well, we had him in the club already, but he is so rare to get that he's 800,000 coins. Is he gonna feel as good as 800,000 coins compared to players we have right now that are way cheaper? I highly doubt that, but it's an 800,000 coin card. I will take that. And that leaves us at the last five picks. By the way, let me know in the comments what you think of these picks so far. Also include the last five if you want. Did I do better than you expected or did I do worse? And what did you get from these? I, I, I'm really curious if you guys packed some bangers from this. We will take a Pele. Obviously we got some W's but like a real real big W where you can go crazy about. We didn't have yet. Here we go for Oliveira. Doesn't really matter. I didn't want to take another dupe. Another Pele. He really wants to be in the team. Two more. Come on. Please, one big, big, big one. And you know what? This is quite a big one because these players are rare to get. And Kunku, very good card in game, high rated, but Hoyland is more than 200,000 coins. And also Lukaku is more than 100,000 coins, but we choose Hoyland and then we go to the last pick already, guys. It took me like 15 hours to make these 100 picks and I've opened them in like 15 to 20 minutes time. It's like cooking dinner. You take longer making your food than eating it. But let's hope this last player pick can cook as well come on what are we getting out of this one and we're getting a saint maxi man that is not a nice way to end but we did pack some bangers so let me calculate how much all of this is worth and let me come back to you in one second two seconds later okay guys i calculated all the prices of the plays we just packed we spent 5.8 million coins on those 50 player picks and we got roughly between 5 and 5.5 million coins worth of players back of course it depends if you would have chosen the highest valued players or just players that you don't have to so i calculated them both one is 5 million the other one is 5.5 million so we almost broke even on it but this one was a lot of fun so in my opinion the 92 player pick is definitely the best one if you did enjoy it you might enjoy my other video that i made about player picks as well i made 100 of the 92 player picks but it was the batch with cr7 in it so who knows maybe i packed him go check it out if you want to if not all good thank you for watching anyways and hopefully see you in any of my other videos